Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Northwest. We announce the winners for the Twilight Marathon raffle tickets. The weekly weather forecast and the weekend sports are headed your way, coming up next on NHS TV. Last Wednesday and Thursday, there was a raffle for two Twilight Marathon tickets. Here's Ashley and Courtney to announce the winners. I'm Courtney Key. And I'm Ashley Geiner. Last week, we sat out during all lunches, giving away free raffle tickets to the Breaking Dawn Marathon at Harkin Theaters in Southlake, and now we're going to choose the winner. And the winner is... Kathleen Williams. Awesome. Kathleen, come down to room 805 during your third period to pick up your tickets. Kathleen has just won two free tickets to the Harkins Theaters Twilight Ultimate Movie Marathon, which begins at 4 p.m. on Thursday. You still have a chance to attend the marathon at Harkins Theatres by purchasing your tickets at the Harkins Theatres box office or online at HarkinsTheatres.com. And now here's an announcement from the newspaper staff. Help newspaper collect items for the Alliance for Children Center in Fort Worth. The center is for abused children and we are collecting items such as school supplies, journals, coloring books, and bubbles. Turn your items into the newspaper to win a pizza party for your third period class. The third period class that collects the most items proportionally to the students in the class will win a pizza party after Thanksgiving break. The Northwest cross country teams competed in the Region 15A championships this past weekend in Lubbock. The cross country girls took fifth overall out of 24 qualifying schools and the boys eighth overall. Catherine Chavez, Kelly McCann, and Troy Taylor will all move on to the state meet next week by virtue of their top 10 finishes, beating out over 180 other runners. And last Friday night, Northwest butchered Saginaw in its last football game of the season. Going head-to-head, -head, Northwest came out on top with a score of 30-6. to They sure did bring the heat to this cold weather. And speaking of, last week's weather gave us the chills, but let's see what Michaela has in store for us this week. Thanks, Amanda. Daylight savings was Sunday morning at 2 o'clock, so we don't have to worry about that chilly early morning weather. Right now, it's 70 degrees, mostly cloudy and windy, with thunderstorms moving into the area by the afternoon. Our afternoon has wind speeds of 20 to 30 miles per hour and a 60% chance of rain. Your 7-day forecast has similar weather. Tomorrow, the weather is a high of 71 degrees with morning storms and showers. Wednesday, is Wednesday and Thursday is sunny, but a little bit of cold. And as for the rest of the week, it is mostly cloudy with the high of 66 for Friday and temperatures are going to move back up to the low to mid 70s by our weekend. That's it for your forecast. Enjoy the week Northwest. Thanks Michaela. Well that's all for today's show. Tune in tomorrow for another awkward moment. Have a great day Texans.